Josh Norman, a guy who went from first-team All-Pro to an embarrassment to the NFL. I'm All Sports Carolina, and today I'm going to be going into the rise and terrible downfall of Josh Norman. Man, I will beat your damn ass. Josh Norman was not a very high-rated recruit coming out of high school and ended up committing to Coastal Carolina, who at the time was not a powerhouse and was actually in the FCS. Norman played with Coastal Carolina for three years and played well, but you have to think he was in the FCS, so you're not going to be drafted very highly if you play well in the FCS unless you're a quarterback. Norman did, however, do well enough to be named to multiple all-conference teams and a third-team All-American. Norman's play was good enough to impress the Carolina Panthers, where they selected him in the fifth round of the 2012 NFL Draft. During Norman's rookie year, he was immediately thrown into a starting role, where he started 12 games his rookie year and played in every single game. That's extremely uncommon for a fifth round pick to do, but I believe that Josh Norman did it as best as he could. As you might expect, as a fifth round pick starting in your first NFL game, there's a lot of rust. So Norman, he definitely had some things to work on. He was a good open field tackler, but his pass defense just wasn't what it would be in the future. Coming into the 2013 season, Norman had a lot of potential. He had a full off season, and he'd finally completed his rookie year and learned a lot. Unfortunately for Norman, however, he committed a seemingly minor mistake that would cost him a starting job. During a game with the Bills, Josh Norman misheard a call to switch to a different wide receiver with fellow Panthers cornerback DJ Moore. Yes, that's a real person, not the wide receiver, but apparently the corner. And it cost him his season. He got benched because of this mistake and didn't start a single game the whole 2013 season. Norman pretty much sat on the bench the whole 2013 season, and honestly, I think he needed that. You know how Josh Norman is. He thought he was on top of the world, but I think he needed a reality check just to tell him that you are a fifth-round pick, and if you make a mistake in the NFL, you're going to be on the bench. During the 2014 NFL season, Josh Norman earned back his starting job in Week 5 and played like a top corner in the NFL. Josh Norman would finish out the season well, and when the Panthers made the playoffs, he had a very good postseason and definitely was a reason why the Panthers won their wild card game against the Cardinals, where he only allowed one reception for nine yards. Now, Josh Norman is known for his cockiness, and that only grew with the better he got. In this next clip, I'm going to show you a training camp fight between Cam and Josh Norman. <laughs> Now, even somebody who's never watched a football game or knows nothing about the NFL probably knows that it's not good to have two of your own players fighting, let alone your starting quarterback and your number one corner. Apparently, Cam Newton threw a pass in practice that Josh Norman picked off and took it to the house. But while Josh Norman was taken into the house, in Josh Norman fashion, stiff arm Cam in the face, and Cam Newton did not like this. Thankfully, they kind of calmed down after this because they were on the same team. They kind of had to. But still, there was definitely some tension there. In the Panthers-Giants game, Josh Norman also feuded with Odell Beckham. And I highly recommend you watch this video. I'm going to be doing an analysis of it in the future. But for the meantime, look in the description. I put a link there. Watch this video. It's nuts. During the 2015 season, Norman would go on to have the greatest season of his career and would be the best corner in the NFL, which is incredible. Norman would have four interceptions, 18 passes deflected, and would allow the lowest catching rate in the NFL. Josh became a staple on one of the greatest single-season defenses of all time and led the Panthers to the Super Bowl where he played great and held Peyton Manning to no passing touchdowns and a passer rating in the 50s. Unfortunately, we all know what happened in that Super Bowl, and this would be the final game that Josh Norman would play in a Panthers uniform. Josh just wanted too much money, money which the Panthers weren't willing to give up, and so he signed a five-year, $75 million contract, which at the time 
was the highest paid corner contract of all time. That's how good of a season he had. If I had to use one word to describe Josh Norman's career with the Skins, it would be underwhelming. While his 2016 season was pretty solid, he was on the NFL Top 100 Players list, he just he wasn't the same. He never made a Pro Bowl with the Redskins, and he definitely was way overpaid. Josh Norman would still have games where he would be up to his 2015 level, but then he would allow some terrible things to happen. He'd have lockdown coverage until he didn't, pretty much. During this time, Norman would also battle some injuries. Nothing terrible, but definitely something that can slowly wear a player down. After the solid 2016 season, Norman would slowly decline into a mediocre corner, and even less than mediocre at times. This would all come to a screeching halt when Josh Norman was benched due to lack of performance, which is pretty incredible that he went from the highest paid player to benched. Well, he was eventually released when the commanders, well, I guess at the time the football team, brought in Ron Rivera, his former coach at Carolina, which has got to be pretty embarrassing. Josh Norman signed a contract with the Bills for barely, like a fraction of his former contract, and he was pretty bad. He only started three games. Thankfully, he was not a starter. He was, I guess you could argue he was good for depth, but that's it. He was, he was a walking corpse out there. I know I'm being hard on the guy, but he was not very good. To his credit, he had the occasional shining moment, but then he had plays like this. In the 2021 season, Josh Norman landed a contract with the 49ers where he managed to start 14 regular season games and play in the NFC Championship. So if you look at it like that, you think, wow, he's had a career renaissance. But he was not great for them. I'd compare him. He was definitely a weak spot on their team. Let's put it that way. Norman is currently a free agent. And could he get picked up by somebody? Theoretically, yes. But he's 34 years old. He's definitely washed. I mean, there's a reason he's called Wash Norman. Because he's washed. I mean, but hey, he's better than some guys in the league and you never know. I truly hope Josh Norman gets signed by somebody. I like his attitude. I think he's definitely a character. I'd like to see him on the field. Mostly I'd like to see him on the field because I can see DJ Moore posterize him. But still, if I was Josh Norman, I'd go ahead and have a retirement party because it's probably the end. But hey, well, that's the rise and downfall of Josh Norman. Let me know what you think in the comments. Please like and subscribe if you like Panthers football or just the NFL in general, and I'll see you on the next one.